How's it going everybody? Deviant Gamer here. Welcome back to another episode of Regrowth. As you can see, my inventory is freaking empty, but I have this in my inventory. That should tell you something. For those of you who haven't seen me die yet in this episode, every time I die, this scroll is on the ground next to my grave, but it's in my inventory. So what's going on? I don't know. I went to load the game and then the game crashed while loading the game. And all my stuff is gone. Like, there's no grave. It's not around where I was when I logged off, which was about around here. It's just gone. I actually respawned way over there in the normal spawning point. So it's basically like it loaded the area, and then it decided not to load my inventory because while it was loading my inventory, it, it crashed. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to check the backup because the game has a backup uh, and see if maybe that's still around and I can get my stuff back and hopefully not be too far behind. Else I will unfortunately have to cheat the items in because uh, I'm okay with dying. Dying it happens, you lose your things. Hell, even if they didn't have the, uh, the gravestones and I had to run back to get my stuff, you know, that's part of Minecraft. But when your stuff just disappears that's a little different that's a bug and that shouldn't happen and so crossing fingers <laughs> that the backup works uh, if not uh i apologize for those of you who feel like me cheating my items back are is a bad thing but you know what too bad <laughs> i'm gonna have to do it so be back one way or another um see you guys then <laughs> yeah so it looks like i'm gonna have to cheat it in um the only backup that I could find was for another mod pack. I don't know what's going on with Curse. Um, it's not updating or backing up like I told it to. I told it to keep two backups, but uh, that's my fault for do double checking. So I'm going to have to go in here, open LAN, allow cheats. It's the only way to uh, enable cheats in a world that has it already. And um, yeah, let's see. Game mode one, does that, no, that doesn't work. I can't remember which one was the, oh, that's the creative one. Okay. So I'm going to need a chest and I'm going to have to put all the things that were in the game or in my inventory last I checked. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go through the video to do it, but uh, most of it is pretty simple stuff. Like I'm not going to worry about like wood and those kind of stuff. Uh, there's tons of it around here, but like, you know, the potions and the tool, or at least the materials to make the tools, that kind of stuff. So I'll be back after I've gone through all that. And we are back. So um, I have the flower pouch I wanted to show you. I basically have one of each. I don't know how many I had of each, but I know I had at least one of each. So I just put one back. I can always use bow and mail and shears to get it back. The green bag, I don't know the exact contents because it's been like, I think, two episodes since I've shown you on camera what was in it. I use it quite often when I'm out to, you know, use the horn of the canopy and stuff like that. Uh, but I don't know exactly what was in here. Um, so I replicated it as best I could. Uh, same with like the white bag. I know it had some calamari in there and stuff, but whatever. I'll just use it for the bread. Um, everything else here should be pretty much close to what it was before, minus like some bone meal and some wood. Like uh, the armor obviously is repaired, uh, but uh, it's not the black leather pants, it's what I had before. Uh, I had the wand. My junk bag um, is empty because <laughs> I don't remember what was in the junk bag. It was like cobblestone and stuff like that. I don't think it was anything of super value, so it should be fine that I don't have it right now. Um, I'm going to turn some of this and that, oh crap, oh, I am such an idiot. I've been working on retrying to grab all that stuff that I've been making a few mistakes. All right. Anyways, try that again, this direction. There we go. Make some sticks. So I got some of that wood, uh, got my alchemist, uh, catalyst back, which is, um, one of the things that I definitely needed to get back because that was missing. Um, what else? I think that's everything. Oh yeah, the slime balls. I actually, for those of you who remember the end of the episode, I removed them from here. So uh, I only have four slime balls. I didn't like duplicate or anything like that. 
Uh, this is obviously back to being four uses instead of three, because uh, I just used it to test what it did anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Um, and as you, you can see, my sword is missing, because the sword wasn't just like a typical flint one. It had like um, the guard. I don't know what it was made out of, so I'm just going to make a new sword right off the bat. Just <laughs> forget the guard, uh, whatever it ended up being. Oh, yeah. And I have a duplicate of this because um, I didn't want to keep running back and forth. So I'm just going to toss that and eventually it'll despawn. Um, but yeah, I should be roughly back to where I was before I started. And I am going to remove, or not remove, move this a again <laughs> back to being over there. Oh, that was quite annoying. Um, I hate when Minecraft does those weird glitches where they just remove all of your things or whatever. It doesn't happen very often. It's a very uh, uncommon thing in general terms, but it is very annoying. So there is a cleaver. Um, it has beheading by default, but it's kind of a slow swing if I remember right. So I think I'm going to make another broad sword. Uh, it just needs a sword blade, a wide guard, and a handle. Uh, the handle I could probably make out of wood, but I do need a wide guard, which is this one. And I do need, oh, what was the, the blade? It was just a sword blade, which I think, oh, I need some more of this. Okay, clear that out and get some sticks and make a, another set of planks. Oh, really? You reset my achievements as well? Oh, that's going to get annoying. <laughs> oh well, whatever. At least it's just the achievements. This The quest book is still fine. It still says I got 83% complete because the quest book is geared towards the whole server, not an individual person. That would have really sucked if I had to redo that part. Um, no, that's a knife. There's a the sword blade. All right. So let's go through here. Oh yeah, and for those of you who are wondering, if I type in game mode, uh, one, it says I don't have permission for it anymore. I reset, uh, saved and quit the game and started back again so that, uh, the server is no longer open, the LAN server, which resets it so that it's no longer in cheat mode. So, yeah, I need some iron in here to make the tool rod. Oh yeah, I put all the metals in here. I just changed the orientation for it. So... What do I need? Does it say cost 0.5, cost 1? Okay. So if I put that in there, that should make two ingots worth. And then I need gold as well. So let me get two gold in here cooking up. And this will be used to make the cast that I need. And I'll just make an iron sword, basically, with a wooden tool rod. So I'll make a tool rod with the stick here. Um, what's that? Durability modifier one time, so that's just normal. Has a 15% chance of breaking. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's just its durability thing. Uh, okay, so there's the gold. Sweet. So that should make... Really? Any more gold than that? It said 0.5. <laughs> Uh, I need more gold than that. All right, I don't know how much gold I need, so let's just fill it up. <sighs> this is the, at least it's not like vanilla Minecraft, where if you die, like high tier up, you got enchanted diamond armor and all that stuff, you got to redo it all. That's really kind of annoying. The nice thing is, is when you're a high tier in vanilla, you usually have some backup gold, like you have got some diamonds and some chests, it's not hard to make diamond tools and armor. You probably have some enchanting books that are just laying around, so you kind of can get on your feet a little bit easier. Why is this not working? Oh, <laughs> I know why that's not working. I actually need to make the flint cast of it. Oh, cool. As you can see, I'm still having a little bit of that uh, frame rate issue. I think it's the newest version of my recording software. I updated it because it hasn't. Um... Oh, I have another sword blade, whatever. And I also have another wide guard. Oi. Uh... Anyways, um... 
I've been uh, updating the, the recording software, and I think the newest version's kind of glitchy. So I think that's why it's causing this. All right. So that should have used, that used two ingots. I have six in there right now. And this uses two more. Okay, so one of these casts is two ingots. That's good to know. I'm basically just trying to figure this out so I know for future reference. And the wide guard cost one ingot and a half. So you see there's four nuggets in there. So it's an um, eight millibucket. So it's actually one ingot, four nuggets, and half a nugget, which is kind of an annoying denominator to the point where I actually will probably just make two of those just to get it to be a single value one and just have an extra wide guard. And then the sword blade should just be that one. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I so these casts are two materials. So if I ever need to make a cast, it's just two gold. That's really good to know. And then um, the material cost on it is actually how many nuggets it costs. So like for instance, this white plate the wide, large plate cast <laughs> cost eight, um, which is the equivalence of basically four uh, obsidian or two uh, of any kind of ore. I just need this. Uh, I guess I will take the spare and just put the spare in here for now. And then I got to run all the way back because I shouldn't be able to make this in here. Actually, it might be simple enough. Yeah, okay. That one's a simple enough craft. Some of the more complicated ones, you actually need to build it in the tool table, I believe. Um, all right. So now that we're done catching up to where we were, let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away because uh, this was all used crafting materials in here. I have no idea what I'm going to do with these bottles. But what I want to try and do is craft an item here called a sextant. A uh, sextant basically is used in real world life, but not um, modern Minecraft. <laughs> it's used to gauge the distance of stars so you can figure out where you are on the planet. Uh, a sextant in Botania is used uh, to figure out shape. So we need some living wood twigs. That's just two of these. So we need six living wood. No problem here. Uh, sign ball, you're going to have to move. One, two, three. I believe it was only three, right? Yep, sweet. Grab that. Put you in this one. Because <laughs> there's already junk in there. All right. And then, because I was making some of this magical fertilizer in there. Uh, and then I need three on the bottom. I think one on top. So I'll just grab it all. And there's that. And yeah, three on the bottom and one on top. So there is the sextant. And I will put this back in here as well as the magical fertilizer. Now nah, I'll keep the magical fertilizer on me. And I will keep these potions in here just for now. So uh, basically what this should allow me to do is get the uh, shapes, preferably circles is what I'm kind of looking for. So let me see. There's a three, a two, a one, a zero. So where is it measured from? Okay, so it measures either from where I look, if I look straight down, or, oh yeah, or if I look far away, no, okay, so it's where I'm looking. So if I want that to be the center, right? And I want it to be, oh, wow, you go to quite a large value. I want it to be like 100, let's just say 83. Yeah, you can kind of see out there. Let's get something that's actually on this height. Uh, so it's easier to see. 18 here. There we go. Now it will show a little shadow figure of the blocks to make a perfect circle of that diameter. So I'm going to use this to make my spheres and circles as much as possible. And I should be able to place blocks. Yeah, I can place blocks in here and um, not worry about the the shape going away. It'll go away when I right click on it to make it disappear. Uh, one thing I want to test out, okay, if I make a five here, actually, I could have just broken it with this. This would have been a little bit easier, I think. So um, I put it out here and then break it. 
like break this middle one will the shape yeah the shape will show up sweet so basically what i want to do is i want to kind of make a frame and then use something like let's say i think this is centered yeah so we will have that be like the outer frame and then use the sextant on top of here to measure so there's six five that would be preferably the next height and then I would go up here and go out to four, oh, not five, four, and slowly kind of make this curve, right? That's kind of what I want to work on here. So let's go ahead and try that out on a small scale. I don't want to make a big, huge one. I do eventually. I want to make a massive one that basically goes from like the center of this area all the way out to like that hill. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be probably like a hundred block radius. Actually, is this in radius or is this in diameter? That's two, one, two, and then in the center. So, okay, so it is radius. Um, circumference, not diameter. Um, so yeah, hundred block radius is kind of what I'm thinking of. Or maybe even bigger than that, because I want to make this huge dome in the middle and then um, build some of the things inside of it, like different platforms. I think that'd be really cool. But of course, that's going to be massive. So let's make a small one around this house just to test it out, see how it goes. Now, the first thing I need to do to actually build this. Oh, sweet. So you can actually see it through blocks. That's uh, kind of cool. Let's uh, just disable that because I don't need it. Uh, structure complete. Oh, I wonder if you finish the circle, if it'll say that. Ooh, things to learn. Anyways, I'm going to need a lot of cobblestone. So I totally want to make this thing faster. This would be really convenient. Um, thankfully, I've got this nice hammer so I can get these huge 3 by 3 areas to make a lot of cobblestone. And uh, then just use the, the, the pick to place the torch. Now, um, oh, here's another test. Yeah, I'm always testing things. That's kind of the point. Ah, sweet. So if you have torches next to it, instead of like a block, like cobblestone, uh, you will place torches. The, the pick will pick the torches no matter where they are. Uh, this will actually choose it if it's next to it. So that will be convenient. All right. So I'm going to, oh, nope. <laughs> Grab a whole bunch of this cobblestone because I want to use this as the building material for the base. And then I'm also going to need a lot of sand to make glass. So I'm going to have to make kind of like a, a super smelter or something that will allow me to make like a lot of glass at once. So between cuts, I will figure out a good way of doing that. All right, so I am going to use the uh, essence of earth and... Um, fire to make a lot of sand. Uh, can I make one more? Sweet. So I'm going to make two stacks of sand for now. And I am going to use the crucible here to make it. Oh, so I saw some gold in here. So I will dump that out and put this in and get a little bit more here. Actually, I just realized something. Uh, I need this out first. First, I need some more here. So let's see. It's one, two, three, four. I think it's every two. Uh, we'll make a, it's either every two or every four, we'll make a brick. I just can't remember which. And um, raise this up a little bit. But I also am going to use it to craft another spigot here and uh, a basin. So I will get the that cobblestone going. That's why I needed this. Um, while this is kind of melting down, let me show you kind of what I was thinking for the building block here. Obviously, I'm going to get some glass with the sand, but I need this. Uh, it's, you can also tell my tools are no perfect durability, but they were barely used, so I don't feel so bad about that. Um, so I can use stone to make a lot of the different looks here, like stone brick, for instance, is a very classic looking one. But there's also a few fancier looking blocks as well. Or I could use the cobblestone here, and there's cobblestone brick. Now, that's stone brick, vanilla. This is cobblestone brick. I like the cobblestone brick a little bit right now because it has a deeper texture to it. It kind of looks like it's worn or aged, sun-beaten a little bit maybe uh, over this one. So, And it's cheaper. I don't need to like 
cook this up. So that's a good use, I think, as well as there's like a few different ones. There's the detailed, and there's also one more. Where was it? Um, maybe, oh yeah, I guess it was just the cobblestone tiles here. Um, here's a large one. So this is what the large one looks like on top, and this is what that one looks like. So this looks even more worn down uh, than this one does. Actually, I kind of like this one a little bit more because of that. Uh, so yeah, this is what I'm going to be using is cobblestone instead of stone itself, just because of the ease at which it is to, to make it. I just go down there and mine some. Uh, this should be done. And can I use this to make the brick? Wait, and this will make three ingots. So that was four ingots. Um, so yeah, one, two, three, four. So yeah, every two cobblestone equals a brick. Sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and craft those and I shall be back. All right. So a lot of off camera work. Got some uh, glass in here. Now I've raised this one. And I built one of these, which is basically seared bricks, uh, seven of them like a little basin. So what this will allow me to do once this glass has melted up, so almost there, will basically allow me, or sand has melted up into liquid glass, I could just basically make glass out of it. So instead of having to smelt it in a furnace using coal and only smelting eight of these per coal and having to deal with all that hassle, I basically make 12 blocks worth of glass using, what is this, three, six... So 12 here. So each one of these is a block. And this will basically allow me to pour it right into here um, instead. And if I had two of these, I could basically pour two blocks worth of glass simultaneously, which wouldn't be too bad. Um, but right now, I only had enough to make one. The other nice thing about this thing is it makes clear glass, which is from Tinker's Construct, which is even better than that pesky glass because it doesn't have all that fiddly bit in the middle. <laughs> so I want to make these biodomes out of this clear glass because I think this would look so much better. Um, yeah, it should make 12 blocks precisely. And then while this is going on, I can actually start smelting up another set here. I don't know how much this will hold total, uh, but let me see, four, um, eight. So it will hold 12. No, because in liquid form, it's smaller than that. I forgot about that. It'll hold 12 blocks, but I don't know about the liquid form of it, how much it will hold. But anyways, I'm going to slowly start working on this part. But also, I want to work on the dome construction itself. So now that I have all that seared brick worked on, I can go ahead and put all this in here and grab some of this cobblestone. And I'll just go ahead and that that's right i can't move that when i'm in that menu all right so let's see the middle of the house it's a nine by nine so it should be simple enough it's basically right here now unfortunately i do shift while i do this so i am kind of slow moving i can look out further but i want to uh actually see about where it's going to be let's see so that's 19 that's 20 if i do 19 that's an odd number uh, that might work a little bit better. So this is how far a 19 block pattern will go around the house if I center it to the house, which I probably will. And then make the big biodome like over that direction. Like this would be like kind of like uh, my special house. So what started it all in a sense. Um, now I just need to figure out where I want it to be 19. Do I want it to be here? Or do I want 19 to start one lower and then like the glass dome start shaping immediately afterwards? I'm thinking let's start it right here, which means I do need to do a little bit of terraforming, uh, which is simple to do. I will basically grab, oh, where are you? All this cracked stuff that I've been saving. I think I even have more. Uh, yeah, there's some. And then I have some in my yellow bag here. I'm going to put this stuff away temporarily because I don't need it. Um, same with my hammer. Uh, I don't need it quite yet. And I will basically place this kind of uh, out a little bit on some areas. Uh, make it look a little bit natural if I can. So it looks like it's kind of um, shaped on top of something that's already there. And then I also need to fill in 
the um let's see let's make that look a little bit better and here and the nice thing to keep about uh making things look natural is to make it more chaotic than an organic shape or make it more organic of a shape than the uh the straight and narrow one you'll be making so this will need to be filled so i'm just going to move all this that's no problem probably going to bring it out to be about like here and uh we'll see how that goes um i'm probably not going to have enough of this around but that's okay i will just uh mine up some more one thing i did want to show you while i have the camera here is there is something scary <laughs> right next to my house there is a giant crater here and you can barely see the particles probably on YouTube. Um, but right dead center, there is actually a um, node. It's, uh, I can't remember the exact one it is. It's basically like a black hole. Uh, this is from uh, Thomcraft. If I can toss that in there, will you pick it up? No, not close enough. Let's see. If I get too close, this thing's gonna suck me up and it's gonna, it's gonna be horrible. That's not letting me. I was gonna throw it in there so you could see it a little bit better because it will sometimes pick it up and fly around. So my hope is that this thing won't expand too much further. But yeah, it is right next to my house. So we gotta be aware of that. I didn't realize this until last episode I was walking around exploring. But anywho, I'll be back when I've done terraforming that and I've gotten most of this first ring done as well as uh more of this glass uh cooked up so yeah here you can see this is what i wanted to show you if it's not capable of putting it in it'll still be finished um so it's not like i'm wasting there we go uh wasting it by putting it in here ahead of time it won't empty it out until it has room for it so i can always have that thing full until i'm basically done with all this so Something to keep in mind for those of you who are working with this mod. Be right back. Alrighty then, so we're at the last two blocks here. I've been using dirt as scaffolding. So just place that there and there. So it does say structure complete. Good to know. Uh, I wonder what else I can do with this thing. Can I shift click it to do something else? Let's see. I'll make that. I, no. Shift click, control click. Nope. All right. So, um, yeah, when you finish the last placement, it will say structure complete. That's kind of cool to know. Um, something that I completely forgot about. If I wanted to, I can get dirt this way, right? Well, if I replace, I believe it's this one and this one with fire, I can get sand. But if I do fire on those corners and dirt on this corner, I get cobblestone instead. So I actually don't even need to use this hammer to get a whole bunch of cobblestone. Because I could get it this way uh, using these dirt, dirt essences and fire essence here. Um, I get eight, which is uh, two full stacks of cobblestone from a single harvest. Um, so, yeah. I guess making this hammer was a little bit ridiculous. The one thing that I will say about it, though, it is convenient to have a backup plan. So, if I end up... Um, not harvesting that for a while i need a lot of cobblestone right away that's a good way of um getting it i also went ahead and made another one of these uh block uh ones so that i could uh harvest the the glass twice as fast uh, which is kind of convenient but what I do want to do is I want to figure out how to make a sphere out of this using the sextant. Because this makes circles, which is wonderful. But a circle in Minecraft, when you increase the size, sometimes doesn't, or decrease the size, sometimes doesn't look exactly right. Uh, so, for example, like if I made this one smaller, how close will it look to making an actual sphere? Versus making, um, tossing cobblestone here, instead of making uh, something that looks a little less realistic, or less spherical, more cone-shaped, I guess is what I'm thinking of. Also, I've been using the, the builder's wand to place, oh, that's limestone, um, to place this. 
though I could just, if I had any of this on me, for example's sake, I'll just grab my hammer that I just ended up putting away. Uh, here you are. Uh, let's just break that little corner so I have some. Uh, I've been using the builder's wand to basically fill in the areas here a little bit more quickly. Um, unfortunately, I cannot make that out of essence. So I guess the hammer can be useful for that at least. So let me go ahead and see what this looks like. One more up. I know we are nearing the end of the episode here. But I do want to see, let's see if I put this one more up and grab the sextant and then focus on the top of this block. And I need it to be 18. There we are. So that is one less than before. And you can move this off. As long as you don't click it, it'll be fine. So it does move it to be one interior here and over this as well. So this should work. Um, because it's definitely one block in. And because it's round, I don't think it will look too much like a cone. Um, I will test it out in a creative world uh, between episodes just to make sure. But at least I have the foundation, the, uh, the base of basically what I want to try and accomplish here. And I will then uh, work from that. It will also give me at least a size to view. So if I want to figure out how big 100 blocks is, um, I got a good example of it. I mean, this is 20 blocks, or actually this isn't even 20 blocks, this is 19 blocks. And it's already a pretty decent size. I like it. Um, so anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed a more buildy episode. Uh, because everything was missing from my inventory, I really didn't feel like uh, working on more quests. I wanted to uh, do something a little bit closer to vanilla uh, with some of the new modded stuff that we got here. Either way... Uh, I shall see you all in the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are enjoying what you see. And don't forget to stay epic. This is Demon Gamer signing off. Adios.